Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Generations Part 7. Now we are going to tackle Crisis City. A shout out to Crisis, dude. One. Might want to go check out his channel. He has pretty good walkthroughs and playthroughs. Mostly playthroughs. And no, I would not want to see the stomp. You know what button is the stomp? B. Wow, I would never guess after exploring everything before playing. Like literally, played the demo so much before this game came out. That's a great way to start off a playthrough. Usually you can um, boost through them. Again, I died. Oh my lord. Okay, Sonic Generations, don't let me, you know, take the easy way out after, like, hours of practice on this, mm -hmm. Glitch up on me. Either that or I'm terribly bad at this game. I beg to differ, even though I, you did see me die a good amount of times, like three times. But is three our limit? No, we'll die many, many more times. I assure you. If I don't assure you on that, I don't think I can assure you on anything. Here, I know you could definitely boost through this, but I think I should spare you enough deaths of mine. The cool loop from the probably one of the worst games ever, Sonic 06, on a PS3 and Xbox 360. Don't worry, I assure you, I have them both. I love them equally. For the most part. And I did play all the versions. I played the PC. I played the Xbox version, obviously. I played the PS3 version. And I played the 3DS version. Even though I don't know if I could consider that a version. And we got a free life. By the way, you want to let that guy like do his fire thing because he will knock you off. Um again, I've been such a doof to let that got me. Pretty good remix, but I died again. Pretty good remix, but I prefer classics better. It has a nice guitar riff in it. And you'll see what I mean when we go to it. It's like, mmm, nice. Oh, God. Surprisingly, no frame rate went down. Unlike in Sonic, um, Sonic, um, uh, oh, getting my games wrong is one thing. Getting them wrong multiple times is another. For oh, shame on me! I, I lost rings, but it didn't give me the death well, damage animation, which is pretty weird. Do that um, to get the red ring. In Sonic Gen. Uh, <laughs> why do I say Sonic Generations? Because I love Sonic Generations with a passion. Um, Sonic 06. Um, the frame rate was so bad it slowed down the game and of course it is room it is notorious for its massive loading screens um, but another thing is in the I think e3 trailer they actually sped it up so it looks more polished and better so it doesn't look absolute shit when people actually played it. Oh yeah, you can't do wall jumps freely. Oh, that's one way to um, get that red ring. I don't know why I got it, because I'm not gonna 
save this file at all. Oh my gosh. Could you please go down? Thank you. There is an achievement to dodge every car or obstacle. Well, every object that is coming towards you. Personally, I got it. I know this sounds difficult to understand. Well, not to understand, but to believe, rather. I got it in my first try, and I didn't even know that was an achievement. I was just trying to be a good gamer. And, of course, since we I fucked it up, we didn't get a S rank. But, really, is S ranks what we're going for? Probably. Is that what you want to see? Probably. Is that what I want to see? Definitely. Am I going to redo it? Nope. Just gonna head into the other states like nothing happened. And I think Crisis City looks like a demolition version of what's we call it? Speed Highway. You look at this. This is all fixed up. But, when you go back to this, it's all broken up. And you see like a broken chow poster and all that. Terrible. But what else is terrible is meh, the platforming in this. I don't think it's that good. That's my opinion, of course, but... Uh, the point is to have fun with it. I had fun with it to an extent. Um, here comes a sweet remix. Oh yeah, something crocodile. Of course, that leads me. You see, this is why I say not. It's not the best platforming and. For classic Sonic because it has misleading stuff and those I don't know why they did it but those platforms drop so fast it doesn't even give you two seconds you see gotta be lucky with that and if I jump there whoa what happened there if I actually jump there uh, oh that actually gave a bit more like it was holding up more than one second amazing that's not really saying that much oh uh, here comes the oh you don't want to speed dash on this part or you will get you know condoled or in a better sense of speaking or my sense of speaking you will get raped up tape but You may want to go do that move when there's no fire and it's safe to go. You may not want to do that as well. You know, it would be a cool animation if the rings were burning. But, you know. Oh boy, I almost messed that up. Good thing I could cancel out that animation. Good thing that it didn't, it wasn't able to, you know. You would assume since you jump on that, it looks like you can make it over, but no. Nice. I don't know if you want to get the speed shoes. I'll go get the speed shoes for the hell of it. Because that would happen if I get the speed shoes. It would speed me up. I would speed into the spikes, but with major speed. One of the reasons why I want to do this, because it would speed up this part a bit. No, it would just mess me over. Die. And I would... You know, heard that? The music. Oh, definitely on this part. Don't speed up. You will accidentally miss the spring and fall off. Uh, what is there to talk about this game? I don't think there's that much because we are coming to the end. A few more parts, like three or four. And I cannot. If this keeps up, it'll be five parts, I assure you me failing at this game oh my gosh but you know everyone is to it but this is a let's play we do this on live 
Oh gosh, uh, I don't know if it activates, but if you get caught in that, you're F U C K E D. Exclamation mark. Times three. Basically, oh, I think it's this part. It, you gotta wait for the tornado to do its little spinning thing. There's the goal, you think. Wrong. It just trolled us. Or pardoodled us. You wanna wait. You wanna wait for this guy. Uh, you see? Tornado is spinning. When it's clear, you shall pa You should pass. And the tornado, it's a good little physics that they did. That they did. What? Did I really die? Really? I mean, look at that. I didn't die at all. You know what? Frig that. Red star. I don't want it anymore. Kill everything. See, just killed. Oh. Huh. I almost died. I, I don't understand. Personally, I think this bot should have had a star post. Really? Now, this is why I say it doesn't have good platforming. This is the part. I despise this bar. And I may suck at this, but... Yes, that's probably the point and true, but this really is one of my hated places. I do not like it at all. And I do believe I got all the red rings, but it was a royal pain. Because if you got that ring and messed up here, who oh boy, you would have to do it all over again. Finally, we are past that part, I would think. And here's the part where I messed up. That part is such a bitch to get that red ring. So fuck that, because this is just a let's play. It's nothing professional. But please do check out Unplug Commentaries. It's pretty good. I, I would appreciate whoever watches this because I'm there. My friends is there. There's more commentary. It's more professional than my stuff. Of course, I do put a bit more effort in my stuff there. Damn, five minutes. By the way, it's nice to see that the levels get progressively longer. Um, you could beat this in like four or three minutes. Um, the next place we're doing is going to probably take four four to five minutes and the fun and the last act will probably take six to seven so as you see it gives difficulty by increments and I thought that was pretty cool that they didn't like put a major skip in the difficulty now we unfroze blazed and of course, he like spazzes out and be like, "Okay, the coast is clear. I don't know where I am. This seems familiar." Bisogno del tuo aiuto, ma ti ringrazio. A proposito, sembra che tu abbia meno punte. I still don't understand the damn thing you say. Dare you insult my quills? Hmm. I read text. No, I'll tell everybody, Blaze. I'll tell everybody. I think we'll play this act first. Actually, no. I think we'll go as Modern Sonic. Um, sometimes the music sounds exactly like the original, like Seaside Hill sounds the ex same with Modern and Classic. Um, modern uh, Speed Highway sounds exactly the same. Um, Chemical Plant as classic sounds mostly the same, but it really has a very good remix to it. Um, this one is kind of like the same, 
but it does have a good remix. Like, I think the original one had like guitars and all that. This one is all like instrumental and violins. And the theme of, um, shoot, I forgot. Uh, this is Begonia. Um, if you, I don't think I showed it, but back there where there was the building, um, it had all the flags from Sonic Unleashed, like all the national flags there. So in some cases, of course I missed that out. In some cases, this does sound the same. Why? But, um, it really did have a drastic change, which I really like. So it doesn't really sound that much the same. The next level that we'll be doing in the next part does pretty much sound the same, though. Not gonna lie. It's just repeated over and over for seven minutes. And... Believe it or not, the song length is seven minutes in the soundtrack. Oh, Sonic just got electrified. And I do like the nice touch that for each stage there are different enemies. They're not, for the most part, they aren't reused all the time. They have a good variety. And we finish it off. Oh yeah. And this was one of the th um, screenshots or trailers when they were first showing this. Um, I think it gotten like a pretty good vibe. Whoa, 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 whoa. did he just jump? Well, not jump, but bounce without doing the land animation. That was kind of weird. Did I seriously deflect a missile that bomb exploding into my face just by jumping? That's cool. Um, of course, this was one of the major parts that introduced them. Um, I forgot what this move is called. Sidestep. There we go. Here's it. It looks like e it looks a bit easy. It is easy, but they give you life just in case you mess up. There's an alternate route to go as well. And of course, they have this gimmick. It's these robots. By the way, um, aim at the robots there to hurt the flying robots as you see oh there's one gigantic laser that can really screw you up and at the end it just freestyles with rings pretty nice touch and we come to the end I do believe I get an S rank oh yeah Spin dash, Sonic, break dance like you never broke dance before. Broke, break, same thing. I'm broke. I don't know where I was going with that, but okay. Now we restored some color to Rooftop Run. That's the name. Rooftop Run. I, I think one of the levels was orange roofs or something because the roofs are orange but rooftop bomb sounds much better and I don't know if you've been noticing this but I do press the Y button because it takes a, like a two three second four second load time to switch to classic Sonic which isn't bad but this is just much faster to just select the level and just switch the act to classic which I thought was pretty neat because it saves me from having to load up Classic Sonic and pick his stage. 
So kudos to Sonic Team for getting most of the game right. It's not perfect, but hey, what game is? I yell at every game, and I mean every game. Think there's a game perfect? I'll find a way to fail it up. There! Oh, nope, 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 nope. Like that. See, I always found a way. I always find a way. Whoa. I was still in spin dash, bro. Not cool. Oh, you just, you actually have to push this. You can't, like, really boost it. Of course, this is one of the most dramatic, um, changes to Sonic's, um, theme and level. Whoa, I just hit the side, really? See, there are, there is always something wrong with the game. No game is perfect, I rest assure you. Oh, wow. You could actually mess that up and really, um, yeah, I won't be able to get there. My, they really had to put spikes there. Nice move, Sega. And of course, you know, don't put them over here where I can actually get to the other platform. Oh my gosh, I don't know why they have to be dicks about it. See, I praise the game, but then I take it away. And of course, each robot has its own animation. Cool little touch. And there's that damn. Whatchamacallit? Sorry if my vocabulary isn't good. I'm just a bit slow. And that robot is just like, you know what? I see Sonic. I'm gonna throw this barrel. I'll disregard all safety of other robots. Because we can be programmed faster, stronger. I, I don't think they'll be any smarter though. Um, this has a cool underground vibe, which is cool. And so, but don't get me wrong, this also has a overground, like, yeah, it also takes to the skies. Which is cool, because, oh my gosh. Oh, this has a gate, I think. And we have to press this, and you just spin dash to it. You don't really have to step, do stepping stones, and it would be cool if we could actually control this, but no. We just go down, do that, and we just speed up. Speeding too much. Oh, I got hit again. And the balloons are a nice touch. Really now. Go up that fast. There we go. I think the target time is 4 minutes and 40 seconds, but don't quote me on that. Probably less. And the rate that I'm doing will probably not even make it to S rank. So don't hold your breath. I'll probably find a way to die. For some reason, um, the spin dash wasn't working for me. Some scenarios. I don't know why I wanted to be a douche. But hey. I was trying to do a quick spin dash and I do not know how you do that. I, I see people just spin dash and I don't know. But when you do this, it could only take you so far. You gotta hold it down and build more momentum. Um, it was cool to see that they added that touch, but really, I just want to go fast, man. For the most part. And if those little balls hit you, 
they will knock you out of your animation, except for this cutscene. Man, we really came a long way with animations and all that. And low times, especially low times. I mean, the low times and <laughs> I'll just put this robot out of its mi misery. Yep, I messed it up. Look, it's 5:22. Target time is like four something. A rank. Ah, uh, yep. At least forty. At least four. I want to say 440, but I'm sticking with 430 for the target time. Well, I do believe that this is all we have to do. Well, not all we have to do. That's all that's going to be in this part, and we'll just wait for that alligator or crocodile. To say what he needs to say in a language I don't understand. Yeah, I'm ready to take out some. That sounds amazingly like his English voice actor. Hmm. Well, this is all that we have for part seven. I'll see you in part eight. Bye.